welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title below I'm going to be unpacking my camera bag and telling you guys anything and everything that I bring for weddings so let me go get it I will talk to you guys about it and we will get started this is my trusty old camera bag it's not old it's actually new so this camera bag I'll link all of the like products below um, it's heavy this is the Wandered, or Wandered, however you pronounce it, W-A-N-D-R-D, -D, um, bag, and it's amazing. So basically it pairs as a carry-on or personal item, a um, hiking bag, like it has hip straps that you can buy for it, and it is perfect for your camera gear. So this is what it looks like. Um, I got the olive green because I love it. Um, it's the 31 liter and it's not super big on me um, and I will walk you guys through the bag um, in my review on it like on a different day but just know that it's one of my favorite bags I love it to death um, so to start off in my bag on my hip straps I have um, I always carry Tylenol for multiple reasons um, the main reason that I carry Tylenol is because sometimes, like, I'll just get a headache because, you know, I'm running around or it's really hot or I'm forgetting to drink water, which is my fault. Um, but I carry around Tylenol because either other people need it or I need it, and it's just so great to have. It could be ibuprofen in there. It's just the Tylenol container. So the second thing that I bring to weddings is this tube, and it has four different backdrops in it. Um, it's from Photography Backdrop Club. And it's amazing it um, allows me to create flat lays with pretty backgrounds um, like if I can't find like if there's only like cement or we're in like a church with like ugly carpeting I can lay one of these down and get like a really pretty effect um, I don't know if I'll be able to get one out but there's all kinds of like wood and marble and like different options that you can use um, so I truly 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 love this um, and it definitely ups your flat lay game as a wedding photographer. Now to the good stuff. <laughs> Gotta unzip it. Another thing that I carry with me all the time when I go to my weddings is my laptop. So MacBook Pro, best thing ever. And any products that are mentioned in this video aren't sponsored. So I'm not that cool yet. Um, I also, when I travel or just go to weddings, I bring one of my hard drives. Um, these are only two of my hard drives. I also have a third hard drive and then cloud storage backup. I can go through like my backup systems another time. Um, but when I'm traveling, I put these in two different locations. So if I, for some reason, like one of my things gets stolen or lost, I have my other one um, so that I can still access photos and edit photos and, you know, upload photos because um, my computer has low memory. So these are the um, Seagate for, they're different colors because I just wanted to know which one was different. Um, they're the Seagate 4 terabyte um, hard drives. They're amazing. My main camera bodies that I shoot with are the 5D Mark IV. Um, I actually have two of these. Um, so these are my babies. I'm actually considering naming them. I've had them for a year and a half now, but I just, I love them. So, any name suggestions, put them in the comments below. Um, these are the two that I carry with me at all times. They actually have on the bottom, like, a little hook for my um, camera harness. That is also a staple that I have at my weddings. You hook your cameras. So, like, I hook my camera bodies to this, which is, like, screwed in and they hang at my waist so then I can just bring it up and click 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 and then this is a backup system so then I hook this again so that if well it's not actually on the right part but if it like drops again like I have it hooked to my camera so that it's not like breaking or dropping um, so my camera harness that I got from my boyfriend for my birthday is something that I always bring to um, to weddings so it kind of varies based on like what kind of wedding or elopement that I'm shooting is like what kind of lenses I bring. Um, I'll walk you through all the lenses I have and like the different scenarios that I use them for um, and why I love them. Um, and yeah, you guys 
I, like I don't carry all of this to each wedding because it really just depends. So my main like staple lens is the Canon 35mm 1.4 lens. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus. This thing is a beast. I love how wide it gives, like wide of an angle it gives me, but also allows me to get in close and get really pretty portraits without having to like worry about distortion that like a 24 millimeter and you know even lower kind of gives you. Um, so this is really, it's a really pretty lens. Like I would highly consider like investing in a 35 millimeter and a 50 millimeter right away if you want to get into wedding photography. Those are like the prime lenses that are like no pun intended. These are like, in my opinion, the best lenses. They're also prime lenses, so they're not zoom. The next lens that I have is a Canon 50mm 1.2 lens. Excuse me. Oops. Um, this one is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, this is an amazing portrait lens. When I am working with my couples or my yeah my couples like during a wedding day, I whip this out and I use this for portraits because it's so creamy and just so beautiful. Um, and it's just like a perfect like this is the lens you want to start out with with portraits and everything like that. It gives you that creamy bokeh that like sets you apart from like kit lenses. I also have the 85 millimeter 1.8 lens. Um, this is a beautiful lens. Um, I would love to upgrade to the 1.4 eventually, but it's something that I don't use as often, so I didn't really mind having like a lower end glass price range, I guess. Um, still really, really pretty. Um, gives you really, like a 1.8 to 1.4 isn't that drastic, um, other than just like the quality of glass. So um, it still gives you that really creamy bokeh and just truly 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 gives you just like really pretty beautiful photos I mainly use this um, if I'm shooting like an elopement or something um, I don't really use it for weddings because I have a higher range lens that I use for that but the 85 is just beautiful and I started out with it and I just kind of don't want to part from it another lens that I use is my 24 millimeter one or 2.8 lens that's actually the lens that's filming right now um, I love that for building shots, like when I'm shooting at a wedding or dress shots, like on a building or something. It gives that like really pretty, like it doesn't distort it too much, but it gives it that super widening. I love it because you can, yeah, just get even wide angles. I also use it for underwater photography. For weddings, like if I'm traveling locally and I'm not flying, I will bring this Canon one macro 100 millimeter for macro shots like ring shots and stuff and details so this is beautiful I also could use this for um, ceremony shots so if my second photographer doesn't have a um, prime lens or a zoom lens that really gets in close and we don't really want to be up front and center um, for ceremonies um, I will give this to them and they can use this to like still get up close and just because it's macro doesn't mean that you can't use it like as a zoom lens or a telephoto lens. So I like having backups for my second so that I know that they're getting quality photos with the quality glass. The only problem is is that it's a 2.8 aperture lens. So, you know, it's not going to be as creamy as like a 2.0 lens um, or even a 1.4 lens. Last but not least, my baby. I should preface this with... If I'm traveling with all of these lenses, I have to put some in a separate compartment. And I, if I do, I put it in these cases because I don't want them to get broken. So if they're not in my main um, camera compartment that has like all the little cubes and everything separating them, then I put it in this so that like other things aren't hitting the lenses and damaging them. This is my Canon 135 2.0 lens. And this is probably one of my favorites for ceremony shots. Um... It's so beautiful, it is so creamy, um, and it just allows me to stand in the back and still like capture the emotion that's happening without having to be front and center and like, do do do. Anyways, I like getting up close and, but also using this to like stay back and just like kind of observe and still capture emotions. The next thing that I carry is my flash. 
I actually am getting a new one or another one. Um, this is the Canon Speedlight 600 EX2 RT. Um, it looks like this. And this is what I use for ceremony or getting ready if it's really hard or like really dark or reception or just anytime I would need an off camera flash or an on camera flash. Um, I use this. It's truly beautiful and it came in this little case um, that has like this diffuser. I think I may be getting a mag mod soon diffuser. So if you have that and you love it, tell me so that I can, you know, hear your opinion on it. Um, and it came with this amber like diffuser. I don't know. I haven't ever used that one. I need to play around with it more. And then a little stand if I want to use it as like an off camera flash instead. With the flash, it, they actually take triple or no double A batteries. So I carry around a brand new case of Duracell or whatever. I'm probably going to be getting um, rechargeable batteries soon, but. Flashes use so much battery power that it's so nice to have like so many extras so I can just continually change out if um, the flash just keeps like dying or the batteries die like you're you would be surprised how fast you go through batteries like I mean sometimes they're like I'm changing them two or three times during a ser or reception. Next I carry CF and SD card cases so this is my main one that I always keep on me. Um, this, like, throughout the day I replace, but it holds both SD cards and CFs. I don't have any CFs in there right now because I'm editing them. This allows me to just keep this on my body and, like, switch out as I need to go along with, like, the SD cards. It's also shockproof and waterproof and all that good proof. So, I love this one. This one is the B-Way. I don't know. I got it off of Amazon for, like, $10. Um, I also have this Pelican case. Same thing, only this one holds only CF cards. Um, so this one I use, same thing, only I just keep it in. You can never have too many CF cards or SD cards for a wedding day. And then this one holds literally all of it. So it holds CF cards up here and then um, SD cards and then underneath it holds micro SDs as well so this one if I'm like having to shoot multiple different ones like even micro SDs like I carry this around because it can carry like 4, 8, 12, 12 micros, 8 SDs and 4 CFs. Meh. So this one's just by VKO. I don't know, Amazon too. The last couple things I always bring with me to weddings are um, battery chargers. So these are my two battery chargers and then I have another one too that I have but it's more of like a USB. It doesn't plug directly in the wall. I always have these because if I'm shooting I can like plug these in in the morning and make sure that I'm like good if like for some reason something, you know, is used up or it doesn't charge fully. I always charge my batteries before I even go to the wedding just so I know everything is charged. Um, but it's always nice to have these just in case I need to plug something in the wall. Um, I have two of these and then another one that charges two at the same time. I also bring, oh, this is for my GoPro. So if I'm bringing my GoPro, this is a little battery charger. Um, I just keep it in here because it's so tiny um, and it allows me to charge my batteries for my GoPro without, you know, having to worry. For my Canon M50, this is actually what's filming right now. It's another battery charger. Um, and then for the Canon 150, or M50, sorry, I shoot on a 15 to 45 lens right now, but I also have an adapter that allows me to use any lens that I have onto it. So that's more for filming. Like, YouTube or travel or behind the scenes or even just couples in general. Um, and then last but not least, I carry my Insignia um, CF SD and micro SD card reader. Um, it does everything um, and it comes with cords that I plug in my computer, all that good stuff. On the side pouch, I bring extra batteries for my cameras and then I bring my GoPro batteries, extra GoPro batteries. Um, and then in here I have 
Oh, I have like a Pedialyte um, electrolyte powder. Um, I just carry that because sometimes I am I can tell like I'm sweating a lot or I don't have enough salts in my body or if someone else is dehydrated, this is nice to have just makes sure someone is like healthy and not going to be like suffering the whole day. Um, also, I bring so much water. Like I have a case in my car and then I bring like a hydro flask that has like ice cold water because I... I forget to drink and if I don't have it on me at all time then I won't drink. The other thing that I have is this Micro Pro lens cap or lens cleaner and brush. Um, so this top part is like a little felt tip that you can like wipe away like smudges or raindrops or whatever and then this is like a little brush so you can brush away like dust and anything like that. And I always pack granola bars and snacks. Um, and then in my top pouch, I carry a stick of deodorant because I don't know how many times I've like sat down at dinner and been like, I need to reapply. Not even because I forgot to apply in the morning. It's just like, I've been running around so much, especially if I don't have a second photographer. Like, I need to just reapply so that I'm not like stinking up the room. I'm just kidding. That's probably TMI, but whatever. I also um, bring a pack of gum. It's really great for guests to have or for me to have if I'm like, mm, I need some mints. Um, and then I also bring my mini doTERRA essential oil um, kit. So cute. I love it so much. They're like little baby vials. And they smell like essential oils. Holy cow. But I carry Balance, Breathe, Lavender, Lemon, Malaleuca, On Guard, Peppermint, and Terra Shield. So Terra Shield is for bug repellent, peppermint is for like headaches, migraines, on guard is like to protect your immune system. Malaleuca, if there's like a zit that like is not going away, um, or other things. Lemon for lemon water, or um, I don't know, there's something else. Lavender is like soothing if you have like a burn or anything like that, or like sunburn. Breathe is like if you're congested, and then balance is just to like help you be less stressed, so... I just carry that around because it's nice to have, especially if I'm traveling. So I don't bring all of my lenses to everything, like when I'm going to an elopement or hiking. I only bring like two or three lenses and then my camera bodies. I don't worry about bringing my macro lens and then my 135 because elopements, you know, you can just get up and get there, you know, right close and personal without having to worry about it. And eloping, I feel like you want to capture that view anyway, so you want a wide angle. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will link everything down in the description box below. Um, and yeah, I hope you loved my first official YouTube video. Um, I'm glad I could kind of show you guys what I bring to weddings um, and on shoots. And yeah, leave me a comment below on what you want to um, watch next from me. Um, I plan on taking guys on a behind the scenes couple engagement shoot just so you guys can kind of get a feel of like posing flow for me, like how I pose my couples, what I tell them, how I interact with them, all that good stuff. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you so much for tuning in. I can't wait for, um, I can't wait to share the next video with you guys. Um, enjoy your weekend and have a great day. Bye.